Well, I got Al Dingo out here for another quick little ride. Haven't had it out for a minute. Been working on the other carts and the bike. But I think for the e-lemonade card cart, next test I want to do is this uh, brushless motor. This is 48 volts also. So I'm going to take another ride in it on while it's mounted on the dingo. Do a video and then I'll pull the stuff off it and get it mounted up on the eat lemonade cart and get some test runs and some data. Alrighty. On El Dingo and ready to roll. Put the switch on. Stop. If this will do a burnout, let's start from a stop here. Nope, all that weight takes in.
grass is no match. Pulled up right to a thing. I gotta get off and push now, right? Nope. Push a button. Push the button. Let me show you that again. Oh, you pull up to a thing. I mean, the fence. Oh no, I gotta get off and push. No, you don't. Where's your button? Get the pedal. And you go backwards. Hit the button again.
check. Motor's warm, but not hot. Batteries aren't even warm. Control is a little bit warm. Tire is a little bit warm. Boom. That was fun. Here is a side by side comparison with the e lemonade cart. The Dingo has 16, 6.5 by 8 inch tires. Okay, 410, 3.50 by 6 tires. You can definitely see a distant difference in height. And also, E Lemonade has an 84 tooth sprocket and a number 35 chain. And the Dingo here has. I have to do some checking. I don't remember what that sprocket is not right off. But it's also a 35 chain. And I think they both got the 10 2 sprockets. So, next we'll get this brushless motor and controller mounted up on E Lemonade and see how it performs with the smaller wheel. Also, this is a live axle up to these two big wheels. And E Lemonade is what you would call a one wheel peel, one wheel drive. So it should be less resistance. But we will see.